Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How do you do on this fine day? Hope you're doing well. Grab a cup of tea or whatever is your beverage of choice and sit back because today I'm going to be talking about BOC. BOC is an upcoming 4X game focusing on historical accuracy that will be set on the dawn of civilization. From the end of the last ice age to the time of the fall of the Roman Empire. What does BOC stand for, you ask? I, I, I have no idea. I searched their website, their wiki, their Steam page to no avail. So let's just ignore that. Yeah, 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 let's just ignore the game's title and jump into the video. The base premise of BOC is that you start as a nomad tribe in 55,000 BC and you'll search for a place to settle and build massive civilizations. But what's interesting about it is that its starting exploration phase will likely be a core part of the game, unlike the civilization games, for example. The world is simulated through the engine created by the developers at Code Art and they seem to be extremely proud of their engine and probably rightfully so because it can accurately generate worlds with terrain, curvature, correct placement of biomes, weather, climate, etc. Best part about it, it is that it can model the climate as it changes over time, actually simulating the sun's radiation per hexagon on the map every turn. It's insanely interesting, especially for me who has a background in meteorology. It was my degree in college, to be fairly honest, so this oddly appeals to me. It can support massively large worlds worlds as well, which might be a draw. And since we're talking about the last ice age, your world will slowly have its icy plains and ice caps melt away, sea level will rise and climate will change across the playthrough. A lot of effort was put into this planet climate simulator. BOC seems to have quite a few of its core ideas in place already, such as the tech tree and the way culture will work in the game. Culture is especially interesting. There are several cultures already, from the Romans to the ancient Egyptians to the Persians, for example, but when you start the game you do not pick a faction. Rather, over time your decisions and what you do, for instance the units you create or the buildings you build, will dictate the kind of culture you get. This is also the theme to how you develop your technology and your civilization as a whole. There are civilization traits that you can acquire by investing points into a certain civilization if it is already unlocked. You can check the timeline on the screen right now. So for example, if I'm in the year 2000, I would be able to unlock Assyrian traits. You can decide to unlock all Assyrian traits or just a couple of them. And at the end of the game, your civilization will be a mix of many other civilizations. The tech tree is omnidirectional and you can go into multiple paths. However, in BOC, you'll need to get military points to get into the military part of the tree, expansion points to go to the expansion part of the tree and so on and you earn these by doing the related activities. What the developers want is for the players to have the freedom to create a unique and organic faction every playthrough. As far as war goes, there aren't many details. What we know is that the developers have tested battles with up to 200,000 men, which honestly, it's quite impressive. The question here is how will the battles play out? Will it be turn-based? and all units will act at the end of the turn? Will it be turn-based and all the units act as they're ordered, such as in Civilization? Will it be real-time? I haven't seen any of the combat, but by looking at the wiki I can see that they're planning a morale system, manpower system, supply system and invasions, whatever that is. It's also said by the devs in their website that they're going for a high tactical depth with terrain and weather being heavily involved. I do like the sound of that, but it says little to how it actually will play out, so so we need to wait and see about that. There will also be diplomacy, but um, I haven't seen anything regarding their plans for it, so um, you know, we'll have to wait and see really. But this is where the good news end. You see, this is a massive project, and I honestly think it's a little bit too ambitious and so far they have very little to show. I'm not very optimistic about BOC, to be honest. There are so many game studios that came out with a proof of concept like the one I've been passing on screen, promising the world only to take years for them to be able to get anything remotely ready to play. And more often than not, it's not really ready to play. This is especially true in the MMORPG genre, but it seems it's the same in strategy gaming right now. I hope I'm wrong but the signs are all there. It's been one year since they released this footage. And let's face it, this footage doesn't look that great. Very low res textures, copy-paste city tiles, very simplistic. So we know the game is in a very, very early stage right now. And it's been one year since they last published on Twitter. But 
but I found them on Reddit and the development is coming along. I'm getting their latest roadmap from one month ago, linked in the description of this video, so it seems that my hopes can stay at reasonable levels, but there is still a lot of work to get done and I'll be following them to see how this game is coming along in the future. However, I'll always carry a grain of salt around, okay? All right, all right, I'll, I'll always carry a bucket of salt around, okay? <laughs> I'll wrap this up by saying that this game would be a great addition to the 4X genre. Most 4X focus on the building up and winning of the game, whereas this one seems to be focusing a lot more on the exploration and the simulation aspects. I just hope that they can strike the right balance between realism and fun, because that can break it or make it, to be fairly honest, on these kinds of games. How awesome will it be to create your own culture or your own civilization? You won't be playing with a set civilization like on most other 4X games, you'll effectively be creating your own from scratch and I think that is amazing that is really good that customization level that the developers are putting into the game I love games that give you this freedom to create so it just feels more personal but I'll leave it at that before I go I have to tell you that I finally found out what BOC stands for I found it on their reddit their reddit is literally called birth of civilization and let me tell you, developers, yeah, that's a great name for the game, I like it. But developers, you should probably have the name of your game on Steam, or on your website, or on your wiki. I had to scratch a whole funny skit because I couldn't find what BOC stood for. Come on. You know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. Here's the skit. Welcome to the meeting, everybody. We need to find a new name for our new upcoming 4X game. So, anybody has any ideas? Anybody? Okay. Any anybody? I don't see no one raising their hands. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Andy, go on. Go on. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of. I kind of got one. So. Um. I'm thinking that maybe we could go with B O C. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool, huh? I, I mean. Well, all right. Really I'm, I'm cool. feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. B O C has a ring to it. Yes. Sure. I'm. I'm into it. Yeah. So go on. No, that, that was it. It was B O C. I mean, I, th I think it's really cool, right? Yeah, yeah, but and and you know that you know it has to stand for something like B O C. It's just three random letters. It has to stand for something, right? What what do, what do you mean? What does it stand for? I mean, it's B O C. It stands for I mean, that. Yeah, it, it, that's what I'm saying. Don't please don't don't tell me it doesn't stand for anything, right? O honestly, honestly, sir. I mean. No, no, it, it stands for absolutely not. I mean, nothing. No, absolutely, it, ha it has to mean something. I mean, we have to, you know, you, you, I like it, but we have to make oh, something it, ha it has to? Okay, okay. Um, let me think. Why Why shouldn't we call it? I, I got, I got. Bag. Bag of <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh my god. Um, look. <laughs> Alright, let, let's just go with BOC then. Let's. <laughs> That's it, meeting over. Me 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 meeting's over. Bye, guys. If you're still here, consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and let me know what you think of Birth of Civilization. Will it be completed? Will you want to try it? At the end of the day, I think there's a good chance we'll see this game out in a couple of years. I'll wait and see, and I'm eager to read what you guys think about it. With nothing else to add, beware the olive oil, be good to your pet codfish. Remember to order some pastéis de play, and as always... Portugal, caralho. I'm in Portugal.